Are you a PFSense user looking to migrate to OpenSense? There is no official way to migrate PFSense configuration into OpenSense. In this video, I would demonstrate how easy it is to configure OpenSense in a similar way to PFSense. I'm going to show the feature in PFSense and then I'll move over to OpenSense and show you the equivalent feature in OpenSense. So let's start with the Interfaces Assignments page in PFSense. You'll see here's a, a page with all your interface assignments. And if you have any new interfaces that are available to be assigned, they show up at the bottom where you can add an interface. And in OpenSense, if you go to the interfaces side menu on the left and click on assignments, you'll see a similar page with all the currently assigned interfaces and any new interfaces that are not yet assigned will show up at the bottom. So all you need to do is put a description in such as IOT and then click add and it'll show up in your network up here. You'll notice in PFSense you have different types of interfaces that you may assign such as VLANs and bridges and lags. The equivalent in OpenSense is in the other types menu. You'll see there's bridges, uh, VLANs and lags as well. Um, so you have very similar options between these two uh, platforms. So if you need to configure a VLAN for example, we can click on it on PFSense on here, click add and if we go to other types, VLAN and OpenSense and click add, you'll see very similar options where you have to pick the parent interface and enter the VLAN tag, as well as the priority and description. So that's all you need to do for an OpenSense to configure a VLAN. So next up, I'm gonna show configuring DHCP. So in PFSense, if you go to services, DHCP server, so as you can see on this page, you have the range for IP addresses as well as some other options you can set for DNS servers and other various DHCP options. So if we go to an OpenSense to the services menu, DHCP v4, and then you can click on any of the network interfaces, which like such as the LAN, and you'll see the address ranges here as well as the DNS options and other DHCP options you can set, just like in PFSense. If you make use of DHCP static IP reservations in PFSense, at the bottom of your DHCP server page, there'll be a list of all your DHCP static mappings for this interface. And in OpenSense, at the bottom of the DHCP v4 LAN page, you'll see a similar options down here where you can actually set up your static IP in a similar way to PFSense. Next, we'll take a look at the firewall rules. So if we go to firewall rules, and click on the LAN network. You'll see a list of all your firewall rules. And if you go to uh, firewall rules in OpenSense and click on LAN, you'll see on the LAN page on OpenSense that the page looks similar to PFSense. On PFSense, you have the add buttons at the bottom. We can add to the top or bottom of the list. In OpenSense, you have an add button at the top, which basically adds the rule to the bottom of the list and you can reorder it later. So if you, click on add and we'll click on add on PFSense as well and you'll get to see the difference in the web interfaces so the options are very similar as you can see with the source and destination options and a description at the bottom and you'll get to see uh, source and destination on OpenSense over here and you can enter a description as well so as you can see these these pages are very similar so it's very easy to translate the rules from PFSense to OpenSense so next up, we're going to look at DNS options. In PFSense, if you go to Services, DNS Resolver, this is, contains all of your settings for your DNS Resolver for your network. By default, it is applied to all interfaces on your network, as you can see right here. Um, there's a bunch of options in here that you may use. And, and if you look at OpenSense, if you go to Services, Unbound DNS, in general page, you'll see that a lot of the options are on uh, this general DNS resolver page is actually on the unbound DNS general page, such as the listen port, as well as interfaces that you're listening on. So you should be able to translate your settings easily from your DNS resolver over to your unbound DNS. So as you can see, it's quite easy to configure OpenSense similar to PFSense, even though the menu options and the web interface are designed differently. You should be able to migrate over from PFSense to OpenSense and enjoy your next generation firewall with ZenArmor.